How's it going everybody? It is Dennis and we're back with another video and we're back with an update video for the month of November. Yes, it's that time of the month. We're doing the update for the dividend and option income earned for the month of November. And oh boy, has it been a good month. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Boom. Okay, so on the left side of the screen, as you guys know, I love being as transparent as possible and I do not like just showing numbers and saying that's how much I earned. I want to show you guys the transactions show you what I've earned. So maybe you guys could you know, feel a little bit better about investing yourself. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my financial opinion, uh, my financial uh, journey. So don't listen to me as if I am the one and all the God that is going to bring you all the money in the world. Uh, so let's go. I just got to say that because a lot of people think I'm a financial advisor and I'm giving you advice. I'm not. I'm just giving my opinion. And this is my financial journey. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for the dividend income side, we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. On the right side are the payments, a little bit easier to understand. And on the left side are going to be the, you know, the exact transactions and how much I'm earning per share. So first up for November is $10.50 earned by OHI, which paid out 67 cents per share. Thank you, OHI. Then we have Stag Industrial or Stag that paid out $3.89 at 12 cents per share. Then we go over to Maine, which paid us $4.80 at 23 cents per share. Then we go into the yield max ETFs, the yield max ETFs that I've been ranting about for this whole month. And I think a lot of people are annoyed at about at this point, but I will continue to rant because their payouts are just so good. So with Apple, not so good payout, but we'll take it. Uh, $11.31 paid out at 17 per cents per share with 65 shares being held kind of disappointing it's kind of disappointing but listen apple is not having a good time so so is an apple uh then we go over to the you know the big man the the big guy that brings all the attention the big yield max etf tsly which earned us 325 dollars and 70 cents yes 325 dollars and 70 cents at 58 cents per share that is a good amount. Thank you. Thank you, TSLY, for paying out the good amount. Of course, I hold that's my highest position in any yield max ETF with 557 cents being 557 shares, sorry, being held and being paid out at 58 cents per share. Of course, all reinvested back. So next month should be a higher payment. And of course, for that next higher payment, there is an estimate that next month we're going to be getting paid out roughly $1.40 and $1.60 per share. Is that true? I don't know. It might not be true. I personally don't think it's going to be true. Based off the volatility of t Tesla and the underlying stock, it seems out we're going to have another similar payout of 58, 50 cents per share this month, uh, this coming month of December. But some people are saying $1.40, $1.60. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if it is that high amount, I, I would gladly take it. I would gladly take it. And we'll talk about that at the end of how much income I would have learned if it's at that amount. Moving on to AMC paying out $100.52. Thank you, AMZ, at $0.54 cents per share and 184 shares being held. And Coney, we have 47 shares being held, paying out $1.08 at $51.52. Thank you for paying $51.52, Coney. Uh, of course, with Coney and AMZ, not only did we get a good payout, we also got good returns. With AMZ, we are up 5% to this uh, end of the month. We're up 5%. And on Coney, we are up 29%. Yes, 29% with the $51 earned. That's pretty good. Uh, of course, Coinbase and every Bitcoin stock is kind of up at the moment because there's that volatility going on with the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space. So it makes sense. Uh, but still, pretty good growth, pretty good payouts, and uh, you know, a good investment. Uh, then we move on to Hercules Capital, which is more of like the basic income, dividend income stocks that you could earn. This is a REIT. It is a REIT, yes. Uh, and it paid out $43.46 and $8.69 for a total of $52.15. Uh, that is $0.40 cents per share holding 180 shares and $0.08 cents per share for the $8.69 holding the same 108. Uh, we also got paid out by SPHD, which paid out $2.90. Once again, another long-term low volatility, as you can see in the name, high dividend paying ETF. Uh, $0.16 cents per share, 17 shares being held not bad uh we move on to efc ellington financial which is a financial company also kind of a long-term dividend payer uh and they paid out nine dollars and six cents at 15 cents per share again uh 
Then we have Wisdom Tree or we have DGRW, which paid out $1.27 at 10 cents per share. Uh, again, this is a growth ETF, as you can see in the name. It is a growth ETF. It's not meant for dividends, but they do pay dividends, which is very appreciated. Uh, then we have DHS, which is a dividend ETF, uh, and they're paying out 29 cents per share for this 46 shares I'm holding. Of course, these haven't paid out uh, yet, as you can see, November 29th, and I am recording this on November 29th. So it is not completely the end of the month. Well, it is, but it's not the next month as I usually do it. But they're going to be paying out today or tonight, and they'll be reinvested tomorrow on market open. And ExxonMobil is just there. Uh, that's for next month. So moving on to the right side, what does that bring us to a total of? And you guys probably would have already spotted it. Our total for dividend income for this month is $587.04. Of course, TSLY, AMZ, and Kony make up most of it. Understandable. 150 between AMZ and Kony and 325 alone just from Tesla. So Tesla is kind of, you know, holding the bag, carrying the boat, uh, doing all the work on this one. But that's that's what you get for investing in a high risk uh, ETF like that uh, with underlying stock of Tesla. But yes, $587. Very much appreciated. Now we move on to option income. And as you guys know, I love being transparent because being transparent, I don't just don't want to state numbers that I get, right? You see a lot of people on Twitter, on YouTube, just put numbers on the screen and they want you to believe it. Uh, I want to be transparent. I want to show you the transactions I make. So we're going to be trans even more transparent than I already am. Uh, on the last, uh, you know, dividend and option income reviews, I've only showed the number that I've made. I just told you the cash amount I've earned without showing any evidence. So now we will show you the evidence as well. So on the left side is going to be all the transactions I've taken. So it was moved down. For Riot, we earned $860. For Mara, we earned $154. Mara, of course, is a brand new stock. Or not a brand new stock, but it's a new trades that I'm taking on Mara, trying to diversify a little bit, even though they both are, you know, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency based stocks. But with Ryan, we earned 29, 22, 44, 27, 144. We actually paid a debit of 108 to save one of our positions. So you can see being transparent, there is days where you have to pay to get out of a sticky situation. Uh, then I rolled it again for 189, 241, 29, 100, 20, 252, which is kind of a risky one. Uh, this 252 did pay out a good amount. But I did roll from $11.50 to, again, $11.50 for next week. This was today's trade or this, yeah, this week's trade that rolled over to next week. And it was kind of a risky trade because uh, Riot actually ended up going to $13. And is that $13 at the moment? So this could, this is in the money and it could go through. But let's hope it doesn't. I do want to keep my shares and wait for that uh, growth of Ryan that's coming in the future. So let's hope it doesn't go through. If it does... It sucks, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, then we have a cash secure put of $56, and then we have a cash secure put of $13. So coming out to that total of $860. Now, how am I going to manage this $252? How am I going to manage this contract that's a little bit risky? If next week, Riot doesn't go down as I wanted to or I expected to, to $11 range uh, or $11.50 range, I'm going to go ahead and slowly roll it up to the next one to 12 to 12.5 to 13 so december my income might be a little bit less on options it might but at least i'll be able to save my position and technically i am earning because i'm saving my position and i'm going to be able to sell for more meaning all the profit i am making from the growth of riot since this is a covered call uh this is a sell i'm selling a covered call i'm going to be earning all that income that i'm rolling up to so it's technically not a loss uh i'm just saving my position and uh, allowing myself to earn more uh so yeah so we move over to mara mara like i said is a brand new strategy that i'm doing same thing as riot though you know the wheel strategy so i sold the put for 15 52 12 9 66 so that came out to 154 dollars now when you add that up when you add that up it comes out to 1014 yeah you, you heard that right 1014 dollars just on option income that's pretty good that is actually really good uh, uh, for the size of my portfolio. And we add that with the dividend income. That is $1,601.04. Yes, you heard that right. $1,601.04. Earned just on dividend and option income. Not adding any growth aspect to it. Just dividend and option income. 
given in cash. That's pretty good. Uh, that's really good if I say so myself. Uh, and actually, if, like I said before, we're going to get back to it later in the video. If Tesla, Amzi, and Kony, if Tesla hits a dollar and 40 cents, which a lot of people are saying it is, which I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Like I said, I think it's still going to be 58 cents. Uh, of course, it's still going to be higher than 325 because we re reinvested this 325 back in. So it might be at, uh, you know, 350, 360. Uh, but with the $1.40, if it does happen, if it does happen and my 570 shares receive that $1.40 per share, that's going to be a cool $700 being earned just from Tesla. Now, if Amzi gives us a good return, because Amazon, the underlying stock of Amzi is doing a great, having a great time right now, that could go up to 150 or 200. Uh, if Kony gives us a good return, because Kony is having crazy volatility, or Coinbase is having crazy volatility, because Coinbase is going all the way to the moon with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, if that doubles to 100, that means my total dividend income is going to double as well, pretty much, because these are my three big positions. So I'm going to be earning a thousand on dividends and add that with a thousand from options and plus i added more option contracts in with my own income and plus the income earned from options that is going to earn me roughly two thousand dollars next month which is a crazy amount and of course it's just an estimate it's just an estimate but next month if it's not two thousand then of course it's still going to be higher than a thousand six hundred it might be a thousand seven hundred thousand eight hundred next month which is crazy 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 and honestly I can't believe it. In the last month, we hit a record of getting a thousand to what a thousand three hundred almost dollars per month. Now we're at thousand six hundred. We pretty much upped it by three hundred dollars in a matter of a month. Of course, I've put in my own money uh, and I've changed up my strategy a little bit, taking a little bit more risk, uh, as you saw with that two hundred fifty-two dollar trade. Uh, but listen, it pays off. It's paying off, and we're getting good returns. And you know, uh, like I said, transparency is key. And the reason I try to be so transparent is so maybe you guys could take a little bit of risk if you have money to risk, of course. And of course, it's not financial advice. This is just my opinion. Uh, but yes, I always urge people to invest. And if you're able to invest, why not? If you have that extra thousand dollars ring around, that extra thousand dollars on Riot, on the wheel strategy, could earn you that thousand dollars back in the end of the year. Pre you're just pretty much earning 100% return. Uh, so if you have money, I just try and be transparent so you could, you know, you could look at my trades, look at my mistakes, look at my, you know, strategies, and you can maybe do the same. Uh, you can see the stocks and the ETFs I trade, and maybe you could pick the same. Uh, just, you know, we could learn off each other the same way I watch other people and see what they trade and maybe take some of their stocks and some of their ETFs and include them into my portfolio. So maybe, you know, test it out, see how it works. And if it works well, I keep it. If it doesn't, I don't. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to be so excited to show you guys in December what my dividend income and option income will be. Hopefully it hits that 2000 mark. If we get that $1.40, I think everybody's going to be happy. Maybe the value of the ETF will drop. As we know, if they pay out $1.40, the, they minus $1.40 from the value of this ETF. But $1.40 per share is $1.40 per share. And I don't think anybody minds that, especially for Christmas time where we're going to be buying gifts. And if you have a lot of positions, if you have a thousand dollar shares, a thousand shares in TSOY, a dollar forty cents is a thousand four hundred dollars that could go to Christmas gifts. Just saying, just saying. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys had a good November. Hope you guys had some good trades, some good dividends, and I'll see you guys in December for the next update. And of course, the videos that come out on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for all the support. We're heading towards four hundred subscribers. We're getting consistent views, consistent likes, and cons consistent feedback as well. As you guys know, I comment. I respond to all comments in, down in the comment section. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for so much. So Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that has been me. My name is Dennis. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.